Okay, welcome to your favorite channel, The Lot of Apps, and this is CJ Benkino. So today we are going to be learning how to integrate Paystack into our OpenCart shopping cart, actually. So this is actually what we are going to be integrating Paystack to. Okay, so just for a quick demo, let me just show you some certain things here. You see, Paystack actually needs some Naira installed by default, but if you watch this currency tab here, you are going to notice that Naira is not installed here. All we have is Euro, Pound Sterling, and then US Dollar. So by the time we go through the installation and then adding some other things, we are going to have uh, Naira installed among this list and uh, make it a uh, default, default currency as well. So just for a quick demo, let us just add one product to the cards. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So it says success. And if you go to the cart, click on checkout. Uh huh. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to click continue. Continue again. And yeah, you see this flash shipping? Oh, it's right here. And it's also in dollar. You can disable that unless if you want to use it you can disable that from uh, within i think it's an actual module but i'm not going to do that in this video so click continue and here is what i want to show you you see we have cash on delivery and that's the only the um, payment processor that we have here or payment method whatever i want to call it okay so by the time we go through this this installation we're going to have pay stack listed with this so that's what I actually want to show you. So without wasting much time, let me just remove this from the cart. So I'll cancel that. And I'll go back to the index page. Okay, so before we actually continue, one thing you need is the you need an account with Paystack. And that is you should go to paystack.com. Just type paystack.com and you will be able to create an account. It's free. Okay. Once you create an account, just log in. And once you log in, I, I would like you to turn this. There is, you turn your by default. It should be on a diff, on a test mode. Now that I'm still testing, I'm on a test mode. But once I'm done, I'm going to switch this to a live mode by just toggling this uh, uh, this button right here to live mode. Let me just do that so that you see what I mean. And it says switched integration to live mode. Okay, but because I'm still testing, I have to switch that to live mode so I don't have to make I have to switch to test mode so I don't have to use real money for my testing. Okay. But once I'm done once you are done integrating, you should come and do this. Just switch it to live mode and you'll be receiving real money. Okay, that is it. And then the another thing that I need us to do now, let me just switch this back to test mode another thing that you need now is the plugin so you can go to google and type paystack open cart plugin just like i've typed here now and you want to click on this first link here okay open cart paystack let me just click that and once it loads we are going to see so we are going to see the list of uh, uh, download uh, we are going to see the list of open cards plugins so as for me I'm using the latest version that is a, a 3.0 or whatever this particular version the newest version is what I'm using that's the version of my open cards so you need to actually download that and to do that just click on download and you need to log in to be able to download this but I'm not going to do that in this video you just go right there if you don't have an account with this you need to create an account with them so go ahead log in and then download the real version so let me just show you the the plugin i've actually downloaded it to my desktop and uh, yeah this is it so i'm going to go ahead and extract it but before i do that let me just create a folder where we extract it to right here let me just call it Just say pp that's paystack blog. Let me just call it this name. 
So I'll go ahead and extract that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and extract this to that folder I just created. So I'm going to go to my desktop and then I'll look for yeah pp plug. I think this is what I called it. Click OK and everything should be extracted to that folder. Once it's done, you can close this up and open the folder. And this is what we we'll have in the folder. So that was, we are not going to upload everything that we we'll have here. Let me just show you now. What we are going to upload is now here. I think it should be found there. Yes, you see everything in this upload folder is the things that we need. No, not even everything. These two things that we have right here now is what we need to upload to our open card folder on our website. But I'm working on I'm working from my local drive. But if you are working online, what you need to do is to actually upload these two folders to the, your open card folder. Just merge the content of this admin to the content of that of your uh, open cart admin online and the same thing for this catalog let me just open my file to show you what i mean so if for instance now let's say let me just find that folder sorry yeah So, for instance, I will open this. See these two folders right here? That's what we already have on our desktop. You will select it, these two things, and then you should navigate to the folder of your shopping cart. Mine is installed in a, in a subfolder on my website. That's mrundn.info forward slash store. That's where you'll find my store. If you have yours installed on your what? maybe home page you will not need this okay just the, the the basic thing here is that you should navigate to the folder where you installed your open card so mine is installed in this folder this particular folder on my website so and as you can see you can you see this and this that's what i'm going to replace i'm going to copy this and then i'll right click on it and say upload it's going to ask me to merge and i'll click yes to merge the two of them okay so but i'm not going to upload this online I've already done that but the same steps is what we are going to do as I'm going to do it locally right now so what I'm going to do now is to go back to that folder copy these two files and then I'll put it in my local drive so I'll take these two files copy them and I'll go to my ZAMP ST docs and mini shop that's what i'm working on right now so this is actually the two files i'm talking about that's what i just copied so op i mean open cars already has this by default so what i'm going to do is to just merge the content i'll just right click outside here and I'll select paste okay and the content will be merged so the content of that admin and that of the catalog has been merged right now so what i need to do now is to go back to my admin folder of the op of my open card so go back to your admin folder okay so once you are in your admin folder you will have to go to extensions extensions again and you go to you need to open this place up click here and search for payments Once you select that, it should this place should open up. You can see the filter is searching. Yeah. So you need to search among this list, list of the payment processors that are here right now, or payment method to find pay stack. So let us keep scrolling down because I've actually made this. Yeah, look at it here. Pay stack. So what you need to do is to click on this plus sign to install the, the plugin that you just it just the plugin that you just added 
So I'll click install. After that is done installing, I'll click on I'll click on this. Where is it? Edit. So now you this is when you need to go back to your or a pay stack uh, dashboard we are going to get our test secret key public key and our live public key where is it okay our live public key and our live our live secret key so go back to pay stack dashboard and scroll down to the bottom click on settings I, I believe click on settings uh -huh, and go to API keys and web hooks click on that and here is our live secret key and live public key okay and if you go down you are going to see our test secret key and test public key okay so I'm going to copy Actually, let me start with our test public key. So, I'll copy this test secret key. I mean, go back to the paste stack, test secret key. I'll paste that in. I'll go back again to my paste stack dashboard. I'll copy my test public key and I'll paste that right in. Test public key. And I'll go back again to my paste tag dashboard, scroll up a bit, and I'll copy my live secret key. Go back to my dashboard, live secret key. Go back again to open cart, I mean a paste tag. I'll take my live public key and paste that against the live public key okay so that's basically it and then okay so you see this this button right here live mode by the time you are going to be collecting real money you will need to come back to this place and turn it to yes by the time you are done testing but for now we're going to leave it at no because we are not going live yet okay and this debug mode leave it like that leave this about this place like this so then turn the status to enable okay so, and uh, i think that's it right uh, let us check other status we have nothing to do right here so finally let's click save okay and as you get success you have modified your pay payment uh, pay stack details okay so the next thing that we need to do now is to install naira so to do that you can go to systems go to localization and currencies and uh, these are the default currencies that we we'll have you can disable them if you want but i'm just going to leave them and then add another one just click on this plus sign to add a new one and i can let me see currency currency title is naira Okay. and the currency code is NGN and then the symbol now is this actually if you are just doing this for the first time you may not see the sign but you can search for the sign online for the sign online or you can get it from your, your system maybe opening your charm character to get this this sign okay but whichever way you, you, you do it to get it is okay so then for this map places you can just add two value you can add 1.00 something then status you need to turn it to enabled and then you click save and that means that we have actually added naira so as you can see it's now listed among the the currencies that we have right here okay so after this another thing that you need to do now is to actually make naira the default currency okay and to do that i think you need to go to systems actually systems yes and then go to settings and click on this sign 
edit this edit sign to edit your your store and you go to local local tab scroll down and see the currency the default currency is us dollar so you need to change that to naira okay and i think that's it and then you click save and that's it so let us just go and test out what you have just done right now so go back to your shop refresh the, the, the home page to make sure that changes occur all right so let us check to see whether naira is now listed of course we now have naira right there so naira is now listed among the, the, the currencies okay you may have to clear the cash for this to stay as the default currency so if you are using windows you can do ctrl f5 or i don't know actually yeah it should be ctrl f5 to clear the cash so let us just go through buying a particular product let's purchase apple okay click add products and it says success and you can go to your yes click checkout and as you can see this is 1000 naira and uh, yeah click continue I'm already logged in continue again yeah and i told you something about this flat rate as you can see it's no longer a dollar it's now in naira but you can disable that you can disable flat flat shipping rate if you want from the module which are within the modules uh, click continue again and now we, we, we now have a pay stack listed among the payment processors okay so what we need to do now is to accept this like the item the license agreement and we click continue let's see whether pay stack is going to pop up And as you can see, it says warning. The payment gate may, gateway is is in test mode. Only a test card can be used. And that means that that place where I showed you that time that I turned, let me just show you quickly. So as you can see, I'm in, I'm in test mode, okay? And it's only test card that can be used so that they don't actually deduct my real money. But anytime I'm ready to you know, go live, I should come and turn it to live mode. By then, people can be able to buy from me. Okay. So what I need to do now is to actually get the, the test card of open card. So I will go back to Google. You can actually find it from the website, but I'm just going to see pay stack. click on this all right so i'm going to let me use this one i'm going to just copy it and you'll see to copy it now go back to my store no? yeah so okay and that's it okay so i'll now paste that test card right here I'll go back again and get the, the cvv is 403 go back again and um yeah the cvv is right here and you can add any date in the future so we can just say 12 oh, oh. okay this is month and year so this should be 12 and 18 yeah and that's okay so i'll click p and that's successful and that it will redirect me now to a success page and there we go so your order has been placed okay so that's actually how to integrate pay stack now for those of you who would like to go live right now so what you need to do now is to go back to your dashboard and turn to live mode okay so if you come you can just go here now if you turn this to live mode this way that means you are no longer going to be using that test card 
So anybody that wants to buy from there will now use a red card. Okay, so let me just leave it at test at um, what is it called life mode now and let's go and try something. We are not going to actually purchase the product, but I'm going to just show you something. That's message that says only test card can be used, we will no longer show up. So let's go to the home page. Okay, so this time around let us push let us purchase a HP Pro book. Six hundred naira. Added to cart. So click checkout. And click continue. And continue again. And continue. Yes. So accept the license. And actually, the as you can see, the payment gateway is still in test mode. That is that is something we need to do, which I actually forgot. So we need to go back to our open card dashboard now, and there's something we need to turn on. Okay. So we'll go back to this, and we'll go to. Actually, we'll go to extensions. Extensions again. I believe stations again, yeah. And uh, select payments, then find pay stack again. You need to locate pay stack, click on this edit button, and um, you see this live mode right here. We need to turn this to life will we need to turn this to yes okay so that is actually what is bringing that error so i think that's it just let us just click save and uh, yes i'm seeing an error here so live secret key and public key so we may have to go back and then kind of bring in the this live secret key and live public key again I'll just go back, go to your API keys, and yeah, let's copy the secret life key. Go back to your dashboard, paste that in, and go back again to your paste tag dashboard. Copy the live public key, go back to your open card dashboard. And paste the public key. And finally, let's click save and see. And everything is okay now. Okay. So if we are to go, if we are to let's all, let us refresh this page. See whether this will disappear. Okay. I think it seems like we need to. You know what? Let us just start afresh. Let me remove this from the cart, and then we'll add that again. To be sure that everything we have just done works fine so go back to the home page and this time around let us purchase their latitude d876 which is 700 naira check out all right click on continue continue again and continue again okay this stack is there Let's accept the terms and condition click continue and now that message that normally shows down here that we are using test card is no longer showing. So if I were to click confirm order right now, it's going to take us to buying the product without having to use test card. So we can now receive real money right now. Okay. So let's just click that to see. But I'm not going to enter anything. I just want to see whether it pops up. Okay, there we go, and this is it. So if, if I'm to actually enter a card, now if I use the test card, it won't work. So I have to use a live card, I mean a, a real card, that they will actually deduct the money from, for me to be able to continue with this right now. So hopefully this um, tutorial makes a lot of sense, and thank you guys for watching.